Since the introduction of the GoPro Hero 8 Black, GoPro claims that they improved and revamped the algorithm of the Super Photo. And in this video, I would like to compare side-by-side -side photos from Hero 7 Black and Hero 8 Black, both in Super Photo mode. First of all, what is Superphoto? Your camera decides for you um, what kind of uh, image processing it's gonna apply to the, to, to the photo. So it basically analyzes the scene, takes a look at high dynamic range, uh, at lighting, whether there is movement in the frame, and based on those uh, conditions, it's gonna decide for you whether it's gonna go with um, one of four available options, like high dynamic range, local tone mapping, noise reduction, and standard photo, if it decides that none of the above uh, features are actually gonna work. What you need to know is that high dynamic range basically focus uh, on um, the shadows and the highlights, and it's gonna take a multiple photos at the same time and then combine them together. And local tone mapping just gonna focus on the details in your photo and apply a little bit more contrast to it. Multi-frame noise reduction, well, as the name suggests, it's gonna take a couple of photos and then apply um, a certain amount of noise reduction to it and then gonna stitch it together. And then if none of these methods gonna work, then our camera is simply not gonna process our image uh, additionally, it's just gonna focus on a single photo. Let's take a look at the photos in super photo mode in both Hero 7 Black and Hero 8 Black. Sometimes Super Photo can a little bit struggle with uh, what the end result is gonna be. Um, it can completely ruin your photo, as uh, sometimes it's visible on the Hero 7 Black, when basically the photo was uh, not so saturated and the contrast was a little bit off. Um, it seems that uh, Hero 7 Black is a little bit struggling more in those case scenarios. Whereas the Hero 8 Black gives us that saturated look, full of contrast, and uh, 
I would say that uh, in a way, yes, GoPro improved uh, their super photo mode, uh, even though I don't use it. So the problem with the super photo is basically that you don't have that control over the end result of your photo. Um, your camera gonna decide between one of the four options, but you have no idea which one of the options uh, was used and uh, you cannot select it manually, it's all done by the camera. And for me, um, a person who likes editing their photo, this is a big factor. I honestly prefer to shoot in RAW because it gives me the most um, flexibility in post-production. I can decide on my own what I want to do with the, with the photo. And uh, I only suggest using Superphoto for those people who actually don't want to spend their time uh, in post-processing their photos on their own and uh, they want to just quickly share their photo to social media. Another problem with the super photo is that uh, you actually don't have that access to Protune, um, so you cannot uh, manually set your ISO or uh, whether you want to shoot in a GoPro color. You only, well, when it comes to Hero 7 Black, you don't have a control at all. And in Hero 8 Black, you actually can change your sharpness level and uh, your white balance, so it's a little bit better in Hero 8 Black. But still, uh, guys, I suggest you strongly try it out to shoot in RAW as that's gonna give you the most flexibility with your photos. Okay, I think that will be that's it for today. I hope uh, you guys liked this video. I had fun making this one. And uh, what do you think about Super Photo? Do you use it uh, or do you prefer to stick to RAW photo mode? Let me know in the comment section below. Once again, if you want to uh, learn more about Superphoto, I will attach uh, an article or maybe two articles uh, in the description below. So if you want to learn more, please go ahead and do it. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, as always guys, stay tuned for more. See you.